Hello Survivors and welcome back to Vegas Our Reality. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the newest legendary recruit, Dwayne. However, before we do that, you guys know I like to shout out my favorite comment from my last video. And these two guys asked me to give them a shout out. So we're going to go with Black Ripper and Tzop. Tzop is actually someone that's been commenting on my videos for a while. So of course I'm going to shout this person out. I really appreciate the support, Tzop. I look forward to seeing what you have to say every video. So thank you for being a loyal subscriber and watching every day. And Black Ripper, I have never really seen you comment on my videos before. So I'm assuming that you're new to the channel. So I want to say welcome to the channel and thank you for watching the video. And now that we got that done, you guys see those icons. I have two armory pulls here. So these aren't anything like glamorous or flashy like stun or something like that. These are just bulking up the weapons that I just recently got successfully crafted. Let's go with the right since we did left last time. All right, Earl, let's go. All right. Cool. Cool, we got the Staggering Ore upgraded to Legendary Status. A huge bonus to AP when taking damage. Love it. Good job. Good job. Now the next order of business with this weapon is to get that defense to plus 35%. So that's my next goal with that. Yes, I want to change it to Vengeful Ore. That sounds way cooler than Staggering Ore. Now let's go with the one on the left. Come on, Earl. Success, 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 success. All right. Andrea's Aggressive Rifle to Legendary Status. And a huge bonus to AP when attacking. Perfect. So now I'm going to bulk up that attack with the last crafting option on there. So yeah, that's awesome, Earl. Good job. I got exactly what I wanted for both of these two. Going to bulk up the defense on one and the attack on the other. And we're set with those two weapons. I'm loving it. Hopefully Aiko or Andrea or Tyrese loves this weapon. I know they will. So let's get into this new legendary recruit. And it's Dwayne. It's someone that's been rumored for a while, actually. I believe he was on the first initial list of future ascendables. I personally never got him. I think I got the other fast Dwayne. But I used him for ascension fodder a while ago. So if you have him, that's awesome. He's a free-to-play tune if you have him. So that's good. Let's look at his stats. 1367 attack, 1514 defense, and 1980 HP. So he's a support character, not going to do a lot of damage, which is fine. I mean, not every tune's going to do a lot of damage or be an amazing healer. You got to have these tunes that do the dirty work. So she got 15-14 defense. That's pretty much average run of the mill. 13-67 attack. That's low, but it's not super duper low like you usually see. And then you got 1980 HP, super high, typical, one stat super high, one low, and then one pretty average. Now let's move on to Paralyzing Slices, the Adrenaline Rush. So 76 AP is normal, so yeah, that's the norm for pretty much any legendary. Deal 350% damage and stun for one turn to up to three enemies, which is fine. So this guy's going to be super annoying once his adrenaline rush goes off. Since this guy doesn't do a lot of damage or anything like that, I was hoping that his adrenaline rush would be super fast. Like you would have to kill him first or you were going to pay for it by being stunned. And it's for only one turn. That kind of sucks, but I mean, whatever. Active skill defense down, negative 75% defense to one enemy for two turns. That's good. I love it. He's, he's gonna basically weaken their whole team so your heavy hitters like your Andreas, your Aiko, your Sandys, characters like that can kill them easier with their heavy hitting adrenaline rushes. And his leader skill, all melee teammates get plus 40% defense and plus 36 crit. So he's gonna be a good zombie map leader if you don't have one already. I have Abraham so he's pretty good there. I don't need this guy for that. The other part of his leader skill is plus 40% defense, so he could be a decent option for a defensive melee lead as well. He's no Carl, but he's still pretty good. Overall, guys, I'm kind of happy with Dwayne. Is he a character I'm willing to spend money on to get? No. He's a free-to-play character because he was pulled before by a lot of people, so if you have him, obviously ascend him. You can't go wrong with another legendary, even if it's just for level up points, or if you just want a good zombie leader. There's nothing wrong with that. But is he a character to spend money on? In my opinion, no. Is he like a boom, boom, boom? Not really. He's like an okay tune, kind of run of the mill. I'm not a huge fan of him, but you know me. I like the flashy stuff. I like the heavy hitting tunes or the people that revive their whole teammates and stuff like that. So yeah, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of Dwayne. Are you going to pull for him? Do you have him? Are you going to send him anytime soon? I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say about him. And that pretty much does it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below. Subscribe as well if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you guys can be notified when I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the support as always, and I will see you in the next video. I look forward to seeing what you get. I look forward to you stay around for a while because this is our... I have two weapon I personally don't know I personally